Good evening, folks. Welcome to the Desert Survivalist Bunker. I'm your host, as always, Desert Survivalist. Um, today, just wanted to do a video about lighting. Um, I've done a blog post at my blog, uh, desertsurvivalist.wordpress.com. Uh, go check that out, and then uh, you can come back and watch the video. It'll probably uh, blog post will probably explain uh, some of the stuff here I'm going to be covering in the video. Um. Just wanted to give a uh, a shout out to uh, a guy with a similar username as I am. Um, I didn't actually uh, search my username before I signed up. I'm Desert Survivalist One. Um, the other user with the name Desert Survivalist, uh, he's the Arizona Bushman. He's got some really good stuff on his channel, so I'd go over and check him out too. And uh, I've subbed him, so. Um, you can uh, get some of his stuff through my channel as well, probably, if you look on my newsfeed. Um, so, let's get started. There's a lot of different sources of lighting um, to use in many different situations. You want to use lighting that's going to be mobile, and you want to put that in your, uh, your bug out gear, your tactical gear. Some of the more stationary lighting, such as these uh, lanterns here, you may want to put uh, in your home or in your uh, bug out vehicle or uh, camping supplies or what have you, um, just to use in like your tent or whatever bug out cabin. Um, first off, I'd like to go over the flashlights. Now I have quite a few different uh, kind of flashlights, and I use almost all of these in my uh, various kits. Um, first off is this one here, this, uh, this green one. You probably have, uh, one of these laying around the house. It's pretty basic. I got this at Walmart a long time ago before I had any of these other ones. Um, just takes a couple D-cell batteries, basic flashlight, and it does the job alright, but you can do better. Um, second one I've got is this military angle head flashlight. The military's used these things for years. Um, they're not the best. <laughs> they say most of the military gear is made by the lowest bidder. So always keep that in mind when using military equipment. Uh, it does have this switch here. Switch is pretty stiff. You move it to the first position and you can use this little button here to uh, signal. Now this one's got some pretty weak batteries in it, but still. And then you, second position, it turns the light on. And we got a nice little case for it. Um, this is a similar one. I think this was made more for uh, civilians. It's smaller. Again, you can signal. And uh, it's a little bit brighter. Um, probably the best flashlight I had before I got my Surefire was my Maglite. Maglite makes a lot of different ones. This is one of their uh, bigger ones. Found this in a junk pile actually and put some batteries in it and it worked. Um, big, heavy metal. You could use it for a club if you needed to. Um, I got this smaller Maglite here. One of the smaller little uh, just twist on ones. I use this for my uh, gas mask bag kit. And I got the very mini mag light. That one's twist on as well. Although it's a little uh, weak. I use this in my uh, tactical vest. Part of my tactical vest. And also I have this little mini LED light. Got this at the dollar store. Runs off some button cells. Uh, it's pretty bright. Doesn't put out as much light as my Surefire, but it puts out a lot more light than some of these other ones. It's got five LED bulbs. Uh, kind of cheap, kind of junky. I've sort of retired it. Don't use it very much, but uh, if you need to go cheap, go with one of those. Go with an LED flashlight. They're very good. And, of course, I've mentioned this one before. My Surefire G2 Natralon. Uh, probably one of the best flashlights I've ever owned. By far the brightest. Um, this one will... If you're going to buy a flashlight, you want to buy a good flashlight, buy a Surefire. That's probably one of the best ones I've ever come across. Now, uh, as far as glow sticks, glow sticks are another great way to um, 
provide light for yourself. I've got a couple different ones here. These are just uh, some cheaper ones. I got at Walmart. I think these were for Halloween. Um, fairly cheap. Um, this is more of the survival type. It's a 12 hour uh, light stick. Um, it's got a lanyard with it. It's a little bigger. You can pick light sticks out just about anywhere. Walmart, dollar store. Um, again, buy the good ones if you don't want uh, want them not to work or work for only an hour or so and then conk out. Um, another thing I bought uh, not too long ago is this thing called the Krill Light. It's basically a uh, battery powered light stick and some Energizer Industrial batteries in there. Uh, it doesn't have a bulb that I can find actually. It, it, there's actually this orange panel behind it. There's a uh, some sort of a glowing panel that uh, glows when you uh, light it up. So the only way you the way you turn it on, other way, is oh there we go. Uh, simply turn the base so it makes contact, and it gives out a fair amount of light when the light's off. It's about as much as a little more, well, a little more than a standard glow stick. Um, these are a little more mo but robust and obviously multi reusable. Hmm, what a word, multi reusable. So uh, I'm using that a little more than uh, regular glow sticks, but I still keep the regular ones as backup. Now, although low tech, uh, the lowly candle is one of your best survival options. These are just little tea candles that I uh, carry in my bug out bag. Uh, and little metal tins. You can get bigger, smaller, special survival candles and uh, you know waterproof tins and stuff. Uh, I see kind of these as kind of a last resort. Um, they are good in that they don't take fuel. They last a long time and you can reuse them until they're gone. Um, you can also, they put out some heat, so you can warm yourself over them if you need to. Um, but I don't use them that much. And last but not least, we've got the uh, sort of a less mobile uh, lighting source here. If you got uh, a bug out vehicle or a big crate of stuff that you're taking camping, you can take lanterns in there. Um, this isn't something you'd want to carry in your bug out bag because it takes out a lot of space. But uh, in the thing with lanterns is they require not only the lantern, but they require support materials, fuel, mantles, uh, in the case of this one, batteries. This is a uh, GE lantern, battery powered with one of the new uh, high intensity bulbs in there. This one's an old uh, Coleman that I uh, just recently got actually uh, runs off Coleman fuel. It's not the propane kind. You can buy the propane kind. Um, those are more popular, but this is one of the old style ones uh, in which you put the fuel in the tank down here and then you use this little knob over here to pump it up and you keep pumping it up throughout the night to keep the pressure up. And then uh, you hang your mantles up uh, in there and then that's how you light it. Um, these are good. They have nice wire hooks that you can hang them off the roof or hang them off a stretcher or tree limb or what have you. Um, they're good for providing a lot of light over a wide area if you're looking to uh, have a little more light than just like a flashlight or something. So that's basically what I've got to show you. Um, if you want to find out a little bit more about lighting, I did do, as I said, a whole blog post on it. Uh, my blog, uh, desertsurvivalist.wordpress.com. So go check that out. And uh, hoping to get some more uh, videos out in the future. Thanks for all the views, guys. My channel's really taken off, and I hope you'll stick around for uh, a lot more. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.